Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another Commander Snack. So this is the series where we highlight a different legendary creature each episode, and then we go hunting through the packs here, looking for creatures of the same tribe. So let's introduce today's patron. It is Trevor Chrisma. Thank you for being a patron. And Trevor actually has a YouTube channel that is Trevor's Tokens. I'll chuck a link in the corner. You can check it out. All right, so let's take a look at his commander today. A rather curious fellow uh, with a very wonderful tribe that I'm very familiar with. We have Ib Huffhart, Goblin Tactician, Legendary Creature, Goblin Advisor, 3 2 for 4. Whenever another goblin you control becomes blocked, sacrifice it. If you do, it deals 4 damage to each creature, blocking it. If you sacrifice two mountains, put two 1-1 one, one red goblin creature tokens into play. Everybody but me! Charge! And there he is. Uh, got all this uh, war gear on there. And as long as his uh, pals are charging into battle, I think he is all good. Okay, so we're looking for goblins and advisors. I don't think we'll find so many advisors, but definitely goblins. The packs should be totally loaded with goblins. Okay, so let's do something like this ordering, I think will be good. And the patrons also get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Okay, starting off with Commander Legends. Let's get cracking. We have Armory of Erewis, Ripscale Predator, Strategic Planning, Spark Harvest, Spark Tongue Dragon, Foundry Inspector. Ghastly Demise, Angel of the Dawn, Eye Blight Colors, Lizlana Bowmaster, Core Cartographer, Command Tower, Spectral Searchlight, and the Uncommons, Fencing Ace, Demonic Law, Monstrous Onslaught, and a Mythic! Holy crap! Mana Drain! Trevor! I don't think I've pulled a mana drain out of this yet. This is craziness. Okay, instant for two. Counter target spell at the beginning of your next main phase. Add an amount of colorless mana equal to that spell's convert mana cost. Enthusiasm is no match for preparation. Yes! All right. Fantastic pull. Let's carefully put that down there for Trevor. And next up we have Keskit, the Flesh Sculptor. Never mind you, sir. You're a bit of an afterthought. Along with Lathiel, the Bounteous Dawn. Legendary Creature Unicorn, 2-2 two, two for 4 with lifelink at the beginning of each end step. If you gain life this turn, distribute up to that many plus 1 plus 1 counters among any number of other target creatures. Alright, and a foil Sisse's Ring along with a copy token. And at this point, we might as well just end the video. And I hope you enjoyed this, enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new video is released. But Trevor... Insists we must continue. He wants to see what other goodies there are, but uh, definitely enjoy that mana drain there. Okay, we have Martyr for the cause, Naga Eternal, Goblin Assailant, Creature Goblin Warrior, 2-2 two, two for 2. What he lacks in patience, intelligence, empathy, lucidity, hygiene, ability to follow orders, self-regard, and discernible skills he makes up for in sheer chaotic violence. That's what I like to see. Ward scale croc, he'll bite your whole body off. Watch out, Spark Reaper. Sahili's Silver Wing, Bloom Hulk, Charm Stray, Avon Eternal, Burning Prophet. Definitely not Burning Prophet here, Trevor. Bleeding Edge, Mo Loyal Companion. Uh, check in a plans walker, you got Watley at the Sun's Heart. And the rare is Oath of Kaya, who incidentally will be coming back in Kaldheim. That's the new magic set near the end of January. Legendary enchantment for three, so when Oath of Kaya enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to any target and you gain three life. Whenever an opponent attacks Planeswalker, you control with one or more creatures. Oath of Kaya deals two damage to that player and you gain two life. So everyone gets what they truly deserve. I will keep watch. Okay then. And a forest and wizard token. So what would be cool is if we uh, get a goblin token, and uh, here we go again. I see a goblin here, even though it's not a goblin creature type. I'm going to throw this in. We have Reckless Airstrike, Raise the Alarm, Negate, 
And this is M20 by the way, reduced to ashes, Greenwood Sentinel, Blade Brand, Maniacal Rage, Boneclad Necromancer, Dawning Angel, Rabid Bite, and Uncommon's Grave Digger, Yarox Wave Crasher, Manifold Key, and the rare is Wake Root Elemental, Creature Elemental 5 5 for 6. So for 5 green mana, untapped target land you control, it becomes a 5 5 elemental creature with haste, it's still a land. When the forest walks, it's too late to run. Okay, Horrent County Druid. And a Jungle Hollow and Wolf Token. Okay, Oath of the Gatewatch. And knowing Trevor's luck at this point, we'll just casually pull an expedition. And uh, at that point, I will have to delete the video and pocket the cards. All right, we have Negate. Spark Mage's Gambit, shoulder to shoulder. Slaughter Drone, Canopy Gorger, Kozilek Shrieker, Unknown Shores, Gravity Negator, lots of Eldrazi in this one, Warden of Geometries, what was I saying? Stalking Drone, it's just Eldrazi after Eldrazi, Kazul's Toll Collector, very cool, Ogre Warrior, alright, Step Glider, Storm Chaser Mage, and the rare is Aile Eternal Pilgrim. I remember this one. I had this in one of my decks back in the day. Legendary Creature, Core Cleric, 2-3 two, for 2 with Death Touch. For 1, sack another creature, you gain life equal to the Sacrifice Creature's Toughness. And for 1, white and black, sacrifice another creature, exile target, non-land permanent. Activate this ability only if you have at least 10 life more than your starting life total. Okay, and I'll chuck in the Full Art Forest and Angel Token. Okay. No expedition there. Throne of El Drano up next. Okay, so what is it? Questing Beast, Oko. Um, there's a couple of planeswalkers here, so let's keep our eyes peeled. We have Opt. Thrill of Possibility, Bartered Cow, Garambrig Squire, Malevolent Noble, Charm Sleep, Lockthwain Gargoyle, Trapped in the Tower. Fling! And that one's got a Flying Goblin, so I'm going to chuck him in as well. Scolding Cauldron. Deathless Knight for the Uncommons. Once and Future. Cauldron Familiar. Uh, is that over a buck? I can't remember. I'm going to chuck it in anyway. And Once Upon a Time. I think that one's banned as well. Uh, along with the Cauldron Familiar. Instant for two. If the spell is the first spell you've cast this game, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. And a mountain and food token. Alright. And Zendikar Rising Set Booster. So let's see what goodies we can get here in this final packet. So we've got Grove of the Burn Willows there, art card. Very cool. I'll we'll chuck that in. We've got a mountain. Spitfire Lagak, a Coom Hellhound, Prowling Felidar, Skyclave Pickaxe, Skyclave Geopede, Lithoform Blight, McKindy Ox Showcase, Glacial Grasp, and the rare is Clearwater Pathway, it's land tap for blue mana, and let's swap to the other side, Murkwater Pathway, it's land tap for black. You also get Archon of Ameria, Creature Archon 2 3 for 3 with flying. Each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. Non basic lands your opponents control enter the battlefield tapped. Archons dispense justice according to an ancient and flawed premise, says Nissa Ravane, along with a foil Vanquish the Weak and a magic minigame, Base Race. Okay, so there we go. Do you have a favorite magic minigame? Leave it out in the comments. And Trevor, I would say pull of the month, quite possibly. Pull of the year goes to you, so enjoy that one. Carefully pop that in there. I hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.